told you not to run, mortal. But I shall forgive you this time. But I shall not be so forgiving if you try to flee again. You are mine. And mortals are much like crystal goblets. Some plain, some beautiful, but all fragile. But you, you are a true work of art. Beauty such as yours truly is rare. <laughs> You're blushing, mortal. You see, mortal, I only wish to keep you safe. Yes, from drift as well. He would have drowned you. There is no doubt within my mind, mortal. I have known him for many years. You wish to know about him? I see. Then I shall tell you why you must not trust him. Long ago, he fell in love with a mage. They had picnics by the pond every day until one day. That mage was found drowned. He swears to the state was a rival mage. But I know this to be a lie, for he is a Kelpie. And the only thing Kelpies love or desire is to send mortals to their watery graves. But now that I have told you of Drift, I wish to give you a warning, mortal. Should you flee again, your fate will not be the happy life I wish for you. One of comfort, where your needs shall be met. But it shall be a fiery death. I have burned towns to ash and cinder for angering me. So do not anger me again, mortal. But I can see in your eyes you truly wish to stay with me. <laughs> and to see you choose me over that slimy Kelpie shows I can trust you not to leave again. You must remember, mortal, I will hunt for you to feed you, as well as I have many fine garments to clothe you, and water to drink as well as wine if you wish. Yes, mortal, anything you wish you shall have. The finest gems and jewels in the land. Anything. All you need do is stay with me. You wish to know of me before you become mine? Then, ask what you wish to know, mortal. Ah, the mortal books I have read led me to believe it was rude to ask one's age. But, I shall tell you, I am a century old. Yes, by mortal or other views, I am quite old. I would think once you had seen my cave, you would have known only a dragon who has lived a long life would have the level of riches I have within my cave. Yes, mortal. I have many kinds of riches within my cave. Books as well, for knowledge is wealth, wisdom is treasure, understanding riches, and ignorance is poverty. And if books are not what you desire, I have the finest clothes and jewelry from around the land. And if it is artwork you wish for, I have many paintings and sculptures. But I did not obtain the sculptures. A friend of mine made them and gave them to me as a gift. I warn you, if most of them look well, 
as if they seem quite alive. It is only because they once were alive. <laughs> I do see your point, but I feel no one can truly capture life in stone but a Gorgon. And I know not of what their life before they became art was. So why should I care for what has become of them? But we'd have returned back to my cave and your new home. You shall not be leaving again. Do you understand, mortal? Good. Now, let us speak more in my cave. <laughs>